Well, wouldn't you know it? What took hours and hours and hours to do yesterday in Creta um, was done in 10 minutes in open tune. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Here's how. Uh, what am I talking about? I'm talking about this. I had said yesterday I want my villains to have a rim light because there's a light coming in behind them. And then I want them to uh, ideally would have a little bit of a glow behind them. And I even commented at the time that what I was trying to do in Credo could probably done way, could probably be done way faster. You know. <laughs> well, here's the rub. I'm going to actually open up a, another viewer on my other screen so that y'all can see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and go Windows. And let's just do a um, viewer. Okay, so we're going to pull the viewer up to this screen. And then I'll switch screens here. Boink. Okay. <laughs> it's, so, it's so simple. It's just kind of funny. Um, so let's put this in preview mode. So what we want to do is we want to give this guy a rim shot. You know, rim light. Okay. Well, the answer is this. It's called body glow. <laughs> and the way you get to that is you go to <coughs> your effects and you go into light. And it's actually, okay, but I said body glow. I meant body highlight. You add a body highlight. And then if you go into the settings, I happen to choose additive. You can use over as well. Um, and you can set the color and the intensity. I usually don't use the swatch viewer but because I have a preview open. But it, it not only gave me the rim light I was looking for, but it also seems kind of smart about how it deals with um, shadowing and stuff. So in other words, if the light is coming from up here, you see how the offset of the body sort of blocks it. So it looks great. Let's jump to another frame. And you'll see that, you see, the, the likelihood is I would probably want to um, animate some of the settings so that the offset is smaller when the guy's farther away, but that can all be keyframed. So if you turn it off, you can see the difference. <laughs> it's a pretty big difference, right? Okay, so the other thing I wanted to do was what you see here, which is currently uh, muted, is a glow. I wanted to be able to have a little backlit glow behind the guy. So I'm like, so all I was doing was actually going through and just trying different OpenTunes um, plugins. So the rub on the glow, I'm sure that if I work with this some more, I'm going to find some nuance to it. But the basic thing on the glow is that it requires what's called a source. So if I turn the, the um, if I just go through the glow directly, then I get this. I get just the glow. So then what I did was I said, well, let's send both the original drawing and the glow into the uh, X sheet. And, and I probably could take, I could probably insert a combiner, like a layer blending. Let's go layer blending. Um, it might be the simple one actually is over. Just do an over, which would allow you, if I go ahead and kill this, I think you could sort of specify, yeah, you can specify whether the glow is on top or whether the original art is on top. So that's not really quite the look I was I was looking for. I, actually, this is pretty close to what I was looking for. Now, you'll notice that I didn't choose anything as the source. Um, so actually, I think my buffer is, oh, no, that's correct. If this was not plugged into the X sheet as well, then all I would see is the glow. So this is, for the most part, the 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 solution I was looking for. Now, there probably will be some problems when we composite the vase in on another layer. Is the glow going to come behind it properly or is it going to be over top of it? You know, things like that. So there are some problems to still solve. Um, initially, I tried uh, using the source, the, the, the character, as both the light and the source and then it came out kind of dark like this but that might be because I'm going through the body glow as well and I hadn't thought of that until just now actually so let's let's see what happens if we say let's take the body glow and shoot that through okay so we have that in there now 
But now let's bypass the body, body glow to, yeah, that, does that look better? I'm not sure if that looks better or if that looks about the same. But, okay, so now let's see what happens if we plug this into source. Yeah, so I, I need to read the uh, documentation to see what's really going on there in terms of source. When I use the background image that's behind it as the source, it doesn't seem to make any difference. So anyway, so if you want to put uh, a glow or a rim light, like I said uh, yesterday, you can do it in several hours <laughs> in Krita, or you can do it in two seconds in OpenTunes. It's your choice, but that's my OpenTunes quick tip for the day. I have to say that in terms of production quality and let's switch to the bigger screen here so you can see a little better but you look at the quality of that imagery and then you just add this and it um, and admittedly the glow is too strong but uh, it adds a lot of production value very economically so anyway that's it that's the open tunes quick tip for the day I'm sure there will be more